Welcome to Science Academy. Science Academy is a free resource for students, teachers, and parents to explore all kinds of scientific subjects through experiments and activities that you can do at home. I'm meteorologist Kat Taylor, and in this episode, we will continue to craft our very own weather station. Today, we will use everyday materials to build a homemade hygrometer. That's an instrument that measures humidity. Plan to do your experiment with an adult. You'll be using sharp objects and chemicals. You will need a good sized piece of cardboard, a top piece or a big flap from one of those big boxes that you get from Amazon or wherever. That works great. Construction paper, I actually went ahead and cut out my arrow already. Tape, a thumbtack or push pin, a long strand of hair, about seven or eight inches long. Measuring spoons, rubbing alcohol, a cotton swab with a small cup with water in it and a marker. Now I'm cheating a little bit today. We didn't have rubbing alcohol, so I'm using an alcohol prep pad. I'm gonna dip that in water to help clean the hair. Now getting the long hair may be a little bit difficult. Thankfully I came with my own, but you can find a family member or a friend to maybe donate a long piece of hair for you. Again, seven or eight inches is what we're looking for. And you can always cut the hair to that length if you need to. But first we have to clean the hair to remove residual oils. And you can use measuring spoons to combine one tablespoon of water with one teaspoon of rubbing alcohol in a small cup and use a cotton swab. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a alcohol prep pad and I'm gonna just dip it in the water really fast. And both with your uh, Q-tip or cotton swab, you're just gonna clean the hair with just one swipe. You're gonna turn it over and you're gonna give it one more quick swipe. So this is just to get the oils off of the hair. Now let's assemble our hygrometer. Basically, we have cut out this cardboard. I've kind of taped the back of it so then the front part stands up. So just find a way that you can get it to where it either fold it or use some tape to tape it to where it stands up straight. So the first thing that you're gonna do is cut out an arrow out of your construction paper. Um, this is my best artistic ability right there. And you're going to actually tape the hair behind the arrow on the back side, and you want it to be in the, mo in the center um, as much as possible. So just get it right there in the center. You should be able to hang your uh, arrow by your piece of hair. And next, you're gonna take another piece of tape and you're going to tape it to the cardboard. So tape your hair right at the top so it's kind of hanging loosely. Like that. So now, to keep this arrow straight, what you're going to do is get it level here and you're going to pop your thumbtack right on the edge here. So you put the thumbtack at the very back end of the arrow, it's basically to make it in a hinge so it can go up and down. So what we're gonna do now is put a line where our arrow is pointed now. And then we're going to draw half inch lines on either side um, of the middle line that you just drew. Now once you have your half inch lines on the cardboard, you're gonna write dry on the top and humid on the bottom. And there you have made your homemade hygrometer. Here's another look at how to assemble your homemade hygrometer. When it's muggy outside, the hair absorbs the water growing in length. This will push down the arrow into the humid category. When it's dry outside, the hair actually dries out, making it shorter. This pulls the arrow up into the dry category. You can test your hygrometer by using a hair dryer to simulate dry conditions and spraying water around the hygrometer with a spray bottle. And that's how you make your very own hygrometer. And that concludes our series on making a homemade weather station. If you would like to complete this activity, you can find detailed instructions on KTIV.com.